Hi everyone, so at any point of time when we are using Azure services and resources like VM, SQL DB or App Service or it could be any other Azure service, there always is a point where we need to check the resources are working fine or not or when we face issues or have outages. So in this video, we are going to understand how can we check our resources health and how to set up alerts on them to get notified if a resource goes down. So let's head over to the presentation and check this in detail. So Azure resource health provides you a view of your Azure Azure resource health status. It can help you to track down if your resource is available or have some issues. Also, we can check the resource availability at any point of time. So before understanding the resource health, let's understand what resource definition actually means. Resource is a specific instance of an Azure service, which can be a virtual machine, SQL database or a web app or various other services which Azure provides us. Next we have is health assessment. So health assessment of an Azure resource depends upon the signals from Azure services if it's healthy or not. Problem analysis and by checking this various resource health status, we can identify issues and provide actions to resolve the resource issue. We have various health status categories defined when we check the status. One we have is an available status. That means our resource is healthy and functioning normally. Next we have is an available. So that means we are having some issues with our Azure resource, whether it's an unplanned main maintenance or an event initiated by a user like a reboot of a VM. Then we have is an unknown. Unknown status comes up whenever there is no health information received for over 10 minutes then the status is changed to unknown. Then we have is degraded basically means your resource is up but there is a loss of performance. It can be because of a degraded hardware or a networking or any other issue from Microsoft. And if your resource like a VM has recently had issues in the last 24 hours we will see a recently resolved pop up here which basically means the Azure has taken the preventive measures to make your resource come back available again. Next we have is a types of unavailability events. So we have is a platform events and a non-platform event. Platform events basically means that is triggered by the Azure infrastructure components and it can include the planned maintenance of the hardware in which our service is running or an unexpected incident like in the VM we have the OS agent crash or an host failure during which the VM is rebooted. So that comes under an expected incident. So under resource health, we can see whether it was not planned on an unexpected incident or we can also contact Microsoft to further clarify the issue we are facing. And in the non-platform events, so these can be like the stopping or starting of virtual machines or a SQL database or a web app. All these events can be caught in the resource health section. So next we have is additional features we get. So we get a detailed description RCA about how what happened and how Microsoft recovered our Azure resource. Resource. These are currently available for virtual machines only and then we have is health history so we can basically see the last 30 days health history in the Azure portal of our resource whether it was available at any point of time it went down. So how can we access the resource health page? So we can directly go to a resource like a VM navigate to the resource health section in the left plate. In there we can see the detailed description of health page. Then we can go via help and support also from where we can set up alert on these resource health events and get notified. So key takeaways is we get a personalized health dashboard in which we can see our, if our resource is available or not. Mostly users check and go to this section whenever they face an issue with the services or have an outage. We get in comprehensive status categories like an available, unavailable, unknown and degraded. Also by checking this we can troubleshoot further what actions we can take to resolve the issue or contact Microsoft for further clarification. So next we are going to see how can we set up alerts on resource health of our Azure resource. For that let's head over to the portal. So I'm going to quickly create a VM and a web app to show you how can I set up alert on both of these resources. Alright, so we have an Azure VM and uh, let's head over to the resource health plane. So this is our VM and we'll expand this. Let's scroll below and herein we'll find resource health. So this is the place where you will see the, all the details related to the health events of your resource. There are some health events we can see uh, which will be because we recently created the virtual machines. That's why we have a notification virtual machine allocated. So this is the event where we created the VM and VM was started. 
also this is how we can see the details for resource health also you can see here our vm is available similarly i'll go to the web app and i'll expand this to go to the resource health and here also i can see one health event which basically says ongoing it's not able to determine the status of your web app so that's why it's unknown so this is because the web app is just started and it will take some time to come up and then it will come available so now i will set up an alert on the vm and the web app to get notified whenever the resource goes down or there is an event from microsoft for that i'll head over to help and support then we can go to the service health or we can just search for service health also we have an option here of source health for adding the source health alert so i'll click on that one and in the signal name you can see that it's resource health for event status we'll cover the active in progress and resolved and updated all this we'll check the resource status which is available degraded or unavailable also select all of these and the reason type will select the platform initiated and non and user initiated all in the scope also we will see where the alert is getting applied so right now i'm applying the alert at the subscription testing and the resource group to all and i'm selecting this feature also where in any future resource group which we create and add a vm the alert will get automatically applied to that also in the next we have resource type in the resource type we can specify the service to which we want to get notified we can unselect all of them if you don't want the alert for these one I'll select the virtual machines and the web app and i'll also select the future resources which we create later on so in the resource you can see it has already selected the app service plan and the vm i'll go to next condition which you already saw next actions create an action group i'll go to next notification i'll give the email and next action tag review and create also you can see now the web app status is available and is working normally you can also go to the app service plan to check the status it's also available now i'll go to next detail and i'll choose the resource group region i'll choose global resource health alert we can give the description resource is down the next tag and review and create it's created and i'll stop the virtual machine and then app to see how do we get the alert now i'll stop the virtual machine and the web app as well and now let's wait for few minutes to get the alert triggered meanwhile we can go to the alert So this is our alert which we created and it's an activity log alert rule this alert goes to an activity log whenever this event gets generated and we can see the details here in like this so in the vm you can see the status is changed to unavailable and the then customer initiated because the vm was stopped by the user so that's why customer and you can see the description stopped and deallocated by a authorized user or process also to get further details which user stopped the vm you can go to activity log and herein you can see the deallocate virtual machine by user cloud with aria so this is how we can check and troubleshoot for the alerting part let's go to the gmail all right so you have received an alert here with a name resource health alert which we created and the resource is resource health also you can see the resource id of your vm and the properties like this status is unknown and current health status is unavailable and the previous was available you will receive another alert stating further information that your virtual machine has been unavailable for 50 minutes so this is how you get notified whenever your resource goes down and take proper actions thanks everyone